Hi, this is Dr. Naidu, and we're doing another short video on the tuberous breast deformity today. So, what sometimes happens with the tuberous breast, and I've drawn something closer to a grade 2 or grade 3 Gruelot deformity here. Um, what sometimes happens is that when we correct this, we're releasing the breast tissue, as we discussed earlier, we're putting in an implant here. So, we'll get a nice round shape, ideally. I'm just going to draw on our implant that we've put in to release the breast and everything will look great and sometimes patients will come back after a year or two years and they'll have something a little more like this so they'll have a little bit of a recurrence of the tuberous breast they still have the implant in there but the implant may have been displaced upwards or it's just not putting enough pressure at the base of the breast there and in these cases it's it's really tough because what we've tried to do is we've lowered the fold but it hasn't completely taken there's almost a memory in the tissues and we do sometimes call this a double bubble because you see one bubble of the breast and then another bubble down here and this does tend to happen in tuberous breast deformities not all the time but in a small percentage of cases we will see this and these patients typically will need to go back to the operating room to have the deformity revised in those cases, what has been recommended by some of our colleagues, um, Dr. von Heimberg in Germany, who has done a lot of these, has recommended that you go back and put in a larger implant to put more pressure on the bottom of the breast. So I do that as well. Um, one thing I do in addition, which I found to be very helpful, is I add a little bit of fat to the lower pole here. So I graft a small amount of fat with a blunt cannula, that means like a blunt instrument after we've harvested it from the abdomen usually. And I'll put in a little bit of fat there and that seems to help soften up the tissues. And I haven't had any recurrences since I've started doing that. And I started doing that about five to seven years ago. And it seems to work out quite well in patients who have a secondary deformity. In some cases, uh, we can do it during the first operation, but most of the time, this is really all we need to do. So I hope that's helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please go to my website, www.niduplasticsurgery.com. Thank you.